And we're back to learning Xscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a simple camera flat icon. We only need basic shapes for that. We'll start with the rectangle tool. Let me make that black. You need to have the rectangle tool active and then you've got this circle that you can drag downwards to create rounded corners. Resize it with the cursor tool if you have to. Now we'll need a circle, hold control when you drag it. Let me make that white. I shift click on both elements, object, align and distribute, and I put it to the center. You can see that I've got class selected in the drop down active. The circle is selected, I press Ctrl D and I make it black. And when I size it down, I hold shift and control. Let me size both of them down and a smaller one a little bit more. We create another rectangle on top. We can adjust it with the circle once more. And I want to align it again to the center. If you want to reposition it, hold control. That way it snaps into the vertical line. So if I align it again, it's in the center. We need yet another rectangle. And this time I'll make it wide and I drag the circle upwards to have these sharp corners. That should be fine. Let me select it all and I press Ctrl G to group it. And now we'll create a circle. Once again, hold Ctrl and you drag it. I put it to the bottom in the hierarchy and once more align it. We want to create a shadow. Just use your rulers, press Ctrl R if you can't see them, and then drag these guides downwards. We've got the snapping enabled and snap to paths is also active. Let me zoom in. We want to put it to the right side and to the left side. And you may have another point that you need to click right here. Uh, you can see that we would have a shadow element right there. Now use the Bezier tool. Follow your guides. Let me turn off the snapping temporarily and I close my path. Let me give that a different fill. I'll put it to the bottom and one level up. So now it's in between the circle. And the camera, I shift click on the circle and then path and division. And this is how you can create the shadow element. Maybe I use some bluish colors here. Just pick a color combination that you like. Select it all, Ctrl G, and then you can export it on the file. And this is how you can create such a camera flat icon in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.